let's look at the triangular prism. Let's do that together. Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to Lessons in a Box. My name is Emma Craven and I'm one of the teachers involved in helping the children throughout these maths courses. At Lessons in a Box we all really want to help children to achieve a better understanding of maths. And I'd like to explain to you now something about how the course works and what we can do together. The first thing I want to emphasise is that we only want children to work for short periods of time whenever they do their Lessons in a Box. About 25 minutes is just the right amount. We know children sometimes have school homework and of course other things to do outside school hours. So what we ask is for three lots of 25 minutes each week. And you can decide on the best times and days. It doesn't really matter which days you choose. Even the weekend is okay. Each lesson has four separate elements to it. Firstly on the videos there's some revision which is followed by the main lesson. Then there's the fun part, when the children get a chance to try to beat the teacher in an activity. After the revision and main lessons, there are always exercises to be done. We've also created a game for every lesson to enable children to practice their math skills in a really fun way. One important point for parents to note is that they don't need to sit and watch the lessons with their children, unless of course you want to. We realise that parents have lots to do and it's our job to do the teaching. Parents do have some important brief jobs. Setting a regular routine for the lessons each week is one. Don't forget, they can be done at times that best suit your family. It's also important that the children's work is marked as soon as possible after they've finished. All our teaching methods are of course the same as those that are used at school and the lessons are completely up to date with the government's latest curriculum guidelines. Here are some short clips of some of our lessons. Hello, good to see you again. In this lesson we'll be doing more work on addition and subtraction and before you begin you should know some of the addition facts for numbers up to 20, pairs of multiples of 100 that total 1000 and pairs of multiples of 5 that total 100. Let's revise these things now, let's begin here at the table. Let's look at our questions here. We have three questions and the first calculation we have is 73 take away or subtract 47. Welcome back. Now it's time for Beat the Teacher. Do you remember earlier I showed you some pentomino puzzles? That's what we're going to do in today's challenge. We're going to make three pentomino shapes like these. This time we're going to write our calculations down in a different way. Can you see how we've got 56 take away 32? Let's go over to the board now and look at some of the words we've used today. We use the word face. This means a flat surface on a 3D shape. We use the word edge. And this is where two faces meet. Well, I hope that gave you a really good idea of what our lessons are like. They're fun, aren't they? Fun, but very worthwhile. A good point to remember is that if the children need to watch any of the lessons again, that's OK, because we know that some topics in maths are much harder than others. In fact, children can watch the lessons again whenever they need to. They can also play the games as often as they like because the games really help improve their math skills. Finally, please remember we're here to help. Bye for now.